Technology is becoming more prominent in today's classrooms as students use computers, tablets, and smart boards while learning. In France, an international project called HoloMath wants to take the experience even further. It produces immersive live experiences in mathematical sciences using the latest mixed reality technology. Dan, tell us more about that. That's right. This is the brainchild of the famous French mathematician uh, Cedric Villani, who is a Fields Medal uh, winner, and he's also become a member of parliament this year. So the idea is to make students and other curious people understand the concepts of science, which can look a bit daunting when you just read in textbooks, to make it simpler, to make it more fun. So this project particularly uh, uses uh, the HoloLens made by Microsoft. And the first demonstration in this project is about the phenomenon of Brownian motion. Now, right now in front of me is a particle that has, that moves randomly. Basically, Brownian motion is the random movement of microscopic particles, uh, like say dust particles, in, in, a, in a fluid medium. So because of the motion of air molecules, uh, which move randomly, these dust particles get bounced around. And that's how you see the randomized movements of this uh, particular particle. As you can see here, this movement has been traced in a path which cannot be predicted. And one of the reasons why the Brownian motion is very important is because uh, there are many uh, different theories that are linked to it. So for example, the idea of temperature is linked to Brownian motion because the movement of air molecules is what essentially makes uh, us feel hot or cold. So, so an entire class could be wearing uh, those hollow lens and you could see the professor, you would also see the concept. Is that how it would work? That's right. So basically, there's, a, there's an instructor or a teacher who will be wearing this HoloLens. And as of now, there are seven uh, listeners or students who would be using this HoloLens as well. And the, the instructor will be giving uh, or explaining these concepts. And he will be interacting with these students uh, through, this, uh, through this process. And whatever the instructor tells, the students will be able to follow through their HoloLens, uh, different HoloLens devices. So for example, here, as I mentioned about this Brownian motion, you can do multiple things that you can zoom in, you can zoom out on this path. Now this uh, particular pat pattern is called uh, fractal in geometry, and there are different fractals in nature. And in order to understand more, you can also have a link to, uh, to our planet. So a planet, for example, you have an option of finding different patterns in nature. So one of the uh, such patterns is the coast, the way our coasts are made. So that our is also coastlines, fractal. right? Coastlines, exactly. Now here, uh, I'll just give you a little demonstration of how it works. So it's not just about the physical phenomenon; it's also about the history associated with it. So as you can see now, there's this Hall of Fame. All the scientists. You can go back in time. Throughout, yeah, throughout uh, since the start. Say, I don't know. It's in the 18th century who have been directly or indirectly associated with the Brownian motion. So Brownian motion is named after Robert Brown, who was a Scottish uh, botanist. Let me find where he is. It was in the 1820s. So he must be around here somewhere. Where is he? Yeah, here he is. Move, move. So that is uh, Robert right. Brown. And so you can click on it and you can get the relevant information about the scientists. As of now, it's only about right. Robert Brown, but in the future, you can imagine that the, that the possibilities are limitless. You can have information uh, related to different scientists, and you can also have different uh, phenomena in the, in the way this Brownian motion has been produced in this headset. So it could be about space time and relativity. It right. could be about different geometric. And uh, in other fields of study as well. In other fields of study as well. So as of now, the target for this uh, particular project is to produce six such experiences which will be part of uh, the uh, mathematics museum that is uh, proposed to come up in Paris in 2020.